from San Diego, California, it's the Tom Likas Show. You are the highlight of my day, man. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacker or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Let me uh, let me just say I've been here since the beginning of our broadcast time today. But I walked in and there were technical issues, and so I had to sit here and wait to go on the air. And they had to run a rerun for an hour of a dated segment that I would never have rerun had I been uh, in there picking these things. But there you go. I just want to be on the record of saying I was here and ready to perform at the appointed time. Just for those of you smartasses writing in and commenting like you were uh, tattling on me or something, getting emails from people writing in to... Uh, Oh, running a rerun, huh? What, you couldn't be bothered to show up today? I've been here, pal. I've been sitting here in the studio. Right here at 1037 Free FM in San Diego. I've been sitting here and sitting here and sitting here. Remember I told you one time we have something in the radio business called dead roll. And what dead roll does is... uh it's a tape of a previous show that just, it's, it's used generally, generally, uh, it's used on an everyday basis in case there's some kind of calamity and it's called dead roll literally because it runs in case the announcer has dropped dead. I know it's macabre, but it's a little inside radio for you. So when you get dead roll, you never know how dated the material is going to be or how appropriate or inappropriate it is. It's, as we say in the radio business, a way to keep the needles moving until we get everything sorted out. That's what it is. So, yes, I know it's not Mother's Day. Yes, I know Mother's Day was several weeks ago. And uh, those of you out there who are really loony, who think we just decided it was such a good topic, we were going to do it again. <laughs> There are people like that. There are people sending me emails responding to the show as if it was live. Like, why would I be sitting here in June talking about Mother's Day? Clearly, something was wrong. Anyway, here we are. We are here because tomorrow we're doing our big broadcast from Cane's out at Mission Beach. And that's going to be uh, tomorrow. The uh, doors will open sometime around 2 o'clock, and the show will begin around 3 o'clock San Diego time. That's our big Mother's Day broadcast. It's our big Mother's Day broadcast. That's right. So all you mothers out there, be sure to come on down. <laughs> yes, that's tomorrow. By the way, ladies, there's still time to send your photograph in if you're a uh, Southern California 9 or a 10. It was time to send that photograph in. Gary Zabransky is compiling the list of people who will get in through the back door. Will not have to wait in line. You will be a VIP in essence. That means you get swept right in the back door. You get to hang out in the VIP area with me and Gary and the staff and management of the Tom Likas show. And on top of that, uh, yeah, there'll be some booze back there. Sure, there will. But uh, just keep in mind, ladies, it's for you and you alone, okay, if you're a hot chick. We don't want to see your boyfriend, your husband, your fiancé, your ex-fiancé. We don't want to see your best friend, your gay friend, your male friends. Uh, all we want backstage are hot chicks. So if you're not planning on bringing hot chicks, you're only going to bring yourself. The other people can come with you, but they're going to have to wait in line to get in. The hot chicks walk right in the back door and hang with us. So if you are one of those hot chicks, send that photograph right now along with your cell phone number. 
to Tom at blowmeuptom.com. We've got the email open here, and we're looking at it right now. Tom at blowmeuptom.com. And we'll see you at Cane's in Mission Beach tomorrow. It's our Father's Day. Get it straight. Our Father's Day broadcast. <laughs> and uh, Father's Day, I understand, is Sunday. My dad's been uh, gone now for 12 years, so I'm not always clear on when Father's Day is, but I am the dad you never had. So uh, it's time for you to bring me some gifts. You know what I'm talking about? Preferably some that are warm and have a pulse. You know what I mean? I want to thank a listener named Kevin. Kevin has sent me uh, some pages from Cosmopolitan. And uh, I guess, does Cosmo even have a website? I, I don't know if they do. You know, the ladies, uh, they don't like using the computer when they're at home and not having to type a letter for the boss. Uh, they, they like the magazine itself. So I guess, uh, what was the deal here? Oh, his girlfriend had a copy of Cosmo, and he took the pages and he just scanned them and sent them to me. And here's what his uh, subject line says. I think this is fascinating. It says, Cosmo teaching women to lie and be bitches. And um, what he uh, neglected to include here was the title of this article, which would have been helpful. Uh, but I suspect it's telling women how to be manipulative. I don't know about being bitches, but tell, teaching women how to be manipulative. And what they had uh, listeners or readers do in this case, they had readers send in the various ways they have uh, pulled a fast one on somebody. And uh, he highlighted his favorites. And I'm going to read the ones he has highlighted here in this article. Are you ready? Here we go. First one is from Melissa, a 30 year old fitness instructor. And she writes to Cosmo There was this trendy restaurant that I wanted to try but couldn't afford. When a guy at work asked me out, I suggested going there, even though I had no interest in him at all. Long story short, we went to the restaurant, he paid. When he asked me out again the next week, I told him that I didn't think it was a good idea to mix business with pleasure after all, and we should probably just be friends. You getting the idea of this? I'll read you another one. This is Erica, a 27-year-old legal assistant. She writes, I had two pricey cocktails while waiting for a girlfriend to meet me for dinner before she called me and said she was stuck at work. I was so ticked. Listen to this mentality here. This is the mentality of a female. Her friend cancels on her. She says, I was so ticked. I didn't feel like paying. So when the waiter came by to ask me if I needed anything, I told him I had been stood up by a blind date and I didn't have any cash in my wallet. He felt so bad, he caught my drinks and gave me an appetizer to go. See, she had money, but she was angry that her girlfriend didn't show up, so she made up this story so she wouldn't have to pay. It's great. Tiffany, a 24-year-old waitress, here's what she writes in and says. She says, I was backing out of a parking spot when I accidentally dinged the car behind me. Luckily for me, the driver of the car wasn't around. Luckily for you. Aren't you supposed to leave, like, a note? Yeah, right. Yeah, the driver was around, just the parking attendant. He told me he wouldn't say anything if I gave him my phone number for a date. I laughed, wrote down my name and number on a slip of paper, and drove away. Of course, it was a completely fake name and number. <laughs> you know, Tom, why don't you like women? What is it about women? What is it you don't like women? <laughs> Here's Anna, a 24-year-old marketing assistant. She writes in and says, My guy would never shell out for vacations, and I was dying to travel. Well, darling, how about you put a little money in the bank and then uh, take a trip on your own? 
It never occurs to women. Uh, the, the same thing I talked about the other day with the women who place ads at Match.com and Yahoo Personals and JDate. You know, they, they say, I love to travel. Yeah, I love to travel means I love when you pay for me to travel. Women are not telling you they love to travel because they want to show you how erudite they are. Look it up. They tell you they love to travel because they've uh, they've got their bags packed and they're waiting for you to buy them a ticket. She says, I found a really fabulous vacation package to Puerto Rico online. So I said it that it popped up as his homepage every time he turned on his computer. Eventually, he got the hint and asked me when I could take a few days off work. Who are these pussies? falling for this stuff. Jessica, 28, a web designer, she wrote into Cosmo. Here's what she said. I had only been dating this guy for a couple of months, but I could tell he was really into me. So the week before my birthday, I showed up to dinner with my hair up, but only one of my diamond studs in my ear. They were fake, but of course, I didn't tell him that. When I got to dinner, I pretended to realize that one had fallen out in the cab and made a huge tearful scene about how the earrings were the only nice jewelry I had ever owned and how much I cherished them. The next day, he insisted on buying me a new pair of real studs for my birthday present. That's just great. Gwen, 32 years old, a financial analyst, she wrote to Cosmo and said, My boyfriend and I were in Italy and decided to rent a car to tour the countryside. He was in charge of renting the car, and I was in charge of getting the hotel concierge to map out a scenic route for us. Little did my boyfriend realize the scenic route I had mapped out led us straight to the Prada outlet. He was pissed at first, but soon realized it would be a lot cheaper than buying me a bag at full price. <laughs> I think he already had a bag at full price. Gwen, 32, the financial analyst. <laughs> I think he overpaid for that bag. <laughs> Can you believe this stuff? So what, I mean, I understand where Kevin, the letter writer, is coming from. He said that Cosmo is teaching women how to lie and be bitches. And there's a big audience, a big audience of receptionists, the kind of women who go after work to TGI Fridays to have potato skins and uh, a fruity drink. That's the kind of women to read Cosmo. And Cosmo teaches women how to be conniving, manipulative bitches. And it is exactly these kinds of stories about women that make me say, you know what? Just have sex with me. Don't talk to me. I don't want to hear anything you have to say. Because this is the kind of stuff. Whether you wrote the stuff or whether you ran out with five or six bucks or whatever and plunked it down to buy a copy of Cosmo and sit and devour this material, the bottom line is this is how many women think. Women are the cheapest creatures on earth. They are the laziest creatures on earth. They want men to do everything and pay for everything. And here is further proof of that. Can you understand why I get so pissed at women? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I am really excited to talk to you. You turn me on so much. Is that so? Yes. The Tom Likas Show. From San Diego, the Tom Likas Show, and the report from the front, D.J. D'Amelio says that these geniuses are still calling in trying to say we were on tape last hour. Yes, we already copped the fact that we were on tape last hour, you morons. We had technical problems. Now, when there are technical problems, we have two choices. One is to sign off the radio station and play dead air. Now, the other is to play a recorded broadcast of a show that we already did. Now, I'm sure that running a rerun is not your cup of tea, and it's not what you would prefer, but it's certainly a hell of a lot better than running nothing. 
So stop calling in about it because there's absolutely nothing we can do about it. Now, please, stop. I'm glad you're a fanatic listener, and uh, I'm glad you're smart enough to figure out that a show about Mother's Day might have been a repeat. You are bright. We know. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This, of course, is a brand spanking new hour of the Tom Likas show. And we're talking about uh, the Cosmopolitan article that was sent to us by a listener named Kevin, where he says that Cosmo is teaching women how to lie and be bitches. I think a lot of them don't actually need help in that area, but Cosmo's there to lend a helping hand. Let's go to Julie on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how's it going? Great. Good. Um, I just want to tell you, you know, I, I only agree with you maybe half of the time, but I'm a chick, so, you know, that's probably per usual. But you're 100% on this one. Cosmo is just for the most vapid, idiot, self-centered, grubbing ladies. You're, you're right on with that. And unfortunately, right. most attractive women uh, would fall into those categories. Yeah, that's true. You're right. I used to read it when I, when I was a teenager. I thought it was like the Bible. I thought this is what you read to learn how to be a lady. You know, and I read it for years, and then it slowly kind of dawned on me, wait a second, this is just, this, this is not the way to be. It is a magazine that teaches women how to manipulate men. Yeah. Well, and the other thing is every month they've got some new hot sex tip, you know, some new way to please a man, and it's always the most ridiculous stuff. If these, women like, who had a, if these women who had to please a man, they would not be reading Cosmo. Exactly. <laughs> you know, how about you don't try to trick him into buying you stuff? How about you don't manipulate him with your emotions? You know, how about you, you know, just be nice, give him some sex, maybe make him dinner. How hard is that to figure out? You don't got to pay five bucks a month to have some stupid magazine tell you that. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I just want to tell you, you know, you're, you're right on. And I don't know if Daniel is his name. He's right. Kevin. Kevin, yeah. Kevin, sorry. <laughs> I don't yes. know where I got Daniel. Well, that's that's all I wanted to say. You're right on with that. Julie, thank you for that. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Jessica, on the Tom Likas show, hello. How's it going, Tom? It's going great. Awesome. Well, I'm in uh, complete agreement with uh, you and Julie, who was just on the line, about Cosmo totally manipulating uh, minds, especially those of teenagers, because I did read those magazines. I couldn't wait for those kind of tell-all articles. Um, and I definitely know a lot of girls that suck the life out of guys and expect them to pay hand and foot. And I know a lot of guys that do that to girls, too. Uh, but well, we did well the guys that. who do, by the way, the guys who do that, not only are the biggest losers in the world. You know, there's no magazine, by the way, that teaches men how to be uh, that kind of loser. Can you imagine if there was a magazine for oh men that taught women how to buy you? Know, how to the get a woman to over. how to get a woman to buy your groceries for you? How to get a woman to let you move in and sleep on the couch? I know. It's how to get a woman to pay your bills? I mean, if there was a magazine like that, people would be just infuriated. Completely. Oh man, I I don't know. I'd give up all hope. Come, this is coming from a 24 year old single chick. But at the same time, there was a reaction to these letters um, saying, you know, that women are lazy and use men. And yes, there are. But you also got to holler at the chicks that aren't like that. Like I work two jobs. I'm a great person. I kick it. You know, I drink beer with the rest of them and play darts. So. Because most women like that are not very attractive, as you know. Oh no, I'm banging. You're banging. For sure. Really? Yeah. Well, well, there are a few out there. I just wanted to let the masses well, know Well, you know, that. as we always say, even a broken clock is right twice a day, darling. Hey, now. For the most part, uh, the women who are cool chicks who will drink beer and watch the game with you, they're fat or fugly or both. I know, and that's also kind of bugs me because I'm not like that, and I keep falling into all these, like, stereotypical, like, I'm not that, not this. So I don't know, man. But there are a few out there. Just yes, well, I agree. There are select, but there are few. There's also people who have six finger on their for six fingers on their left hand, but I wouldn't be spending a day looking for them. Amen. Hey, Tom, can you take me out bong hit style, please? Of course I can. Yes. <coughs> Samantha on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. 
Good. Um, I just want to say I agree with everything you're saying right now, too. I am a 27-year-old, and I'm married, and I couldn't even imagine. I, I think Cosmo's disgusting. I just I couldn't imagine. I, I don't know. My husband and I both work, and... Like yesterday, for example, I came home, mowed the yard, cleaned the house, had dinner ready, and I have, I, I'm a waitress right now, and I, I just opened my own catering business, and so we're both busy, but I just think these women, I just don't understand them at all. What did you think of these uh, letters to Cosmo that I read? I think that they're disgusting, and I have friends like that. <laughs> well, that, so when people say, Tom, I can't believe you say these things about women. Well, this is what I'm talking about. No, and it's totally true. I, I, I have about maybe out of my whole group of friends, maybe three are single, and I can I don't understand how the rest got married, and the ones that are single, who knows if they ever will get married. It's just, or, or ever have a significant other. They're always trying to find a way to get more money out of men, and then they're rude to them also and always nagging. It just, I don't understand. I believe me, I know what you're talking about, Samantha, and I thank you for that. Let me see how to bill on the top like his show. Hello. Hello, is this the Mother's Day special? <laughs> why, yes. Let's talk about why you shouldn't give gifts to women on Mother's Day. <laughs> How's it going, Tom? I'm okay. Right on. Um, I told a story about how women will try to manipulate you, but you can only be manipulated if you let it happen. My oh, there's no, there's no doubt that for every one of these uh, these moronic, insipid women who wrote to Cosmo, there's some pussy out there who thinks that by spending money he's going to get laid. And that's what I'm trying to warn the guys about. If you hear how brazen these women are about trying to get you to spend money and buy things you don't want and take them out to restaurants where they have no intention of having sex with you, I mean, this should cure you forever. Absolutely. You know, my wife who was allowed to stay home for three and a half years with our daughter, just recently had to go back to work about weeks ago. She's literally crying almost every day. I don't want to work. Uh -huh. I don't want to work. Well, you know where she is today, Tom? <laughs> well, She's at work. She's at work. She's probably working two jobs. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Get over it. Have fun at work. See you, honey. Bye-bye. That's right. Take me out Halle Berry style, Tom. Halle Berry style. Here you go, Bill. <laughs> it's JC on the Tom Like a Show. Hello. How's it going, Tom? You are my Quan, dude. Ah. <laughs> you are the Quan. No, I was just, uh, I wanted to call because I had a unique story with all this that we're talking about. Okay. It's uh, a little crazy. Um, I went back to Miami just to visit some friends and go to my little brother's high school graduation. I happened to go out with a group of friends, and we were all supposed to get in for free. We were supposed to know some people at the door. So we get there, and all these girls that were with me had no money, absolutely. And when By the way, the what town, were you doing going out with a bunch of girls? Well, it was a group from work and a bunch of their friends. So... It was an individual. I went there independent on my own to meet up with a bunch of people. We were all going to get in for free. Right. But apparently, as we get in, the bouncer's not there. And so he, we had to pay the cover charge. It was like 10 15 bucks. None of these girls had a single dime on them. Not and which of you suckers, card. which of you suckers reached into your pocket and paid? Nobody. Oh, really? Nobody. None of us were suckers. And they were trying to get me to pay. I said, hell no. I'm not paying for you guys. This is ridiculous. They waited about an hour to get in. I went by myself and another friend, and they had to wait outside until somebody showed up that knew the, another bouncer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Crazy stuff. And but, by the uh, way, yeah, they, they expect to get in for free uh, to begin with. Yeah, but, I mean, even if they do get in for free, I mean, they show up to clubs without, I mean, a single dime, hoping that some guy... <laughs> we'll treat them for a drink. And another funny story happened to me too. That not not that same night. Another night, I'm at the club. By the way, the I don't. By the way, I don't believe. Just like the woman in the Cosmo letter I read, <laughs> I don't believe these women don't have money. They're just saying they don't have money. I don't know what their story is, but women know, are so cheap. They'll they'll wait outside an hour for the bouncer to get there so they don't have to pay. 
Yeah, and I mean, it's 10, 15 bucks. How much is like a little makeup? You know, it's, they pay 10 bucks on their little mascara. I know. Right. So, but another story I'm here in a club in San Diego, and some girl comes up to me. She says, Hey, my friend is sober. She wants a drink. I look at her. I'm like, Are you freaking serious? I was like, I'm drunk, and I need you to buy me a drink. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you know, guys need like, to do. I, you know, if I contribute nothing else to society. If I set it up so that women now are just told no every time they stamp their little feet and ask you to buy them something, they want a drink, they want food, they want you to pay the cover charge at clubs, if I could just keep women from getting that stuff paid for, I will have accomplished, I, I think all I want to accomplish in life, I'll be completely happy. It's good stuff. Hey, Tom, you are literally my quant. I just started listening to you when I moved back here to San Diego. Can you take me out Kobe style? That's freaking hilarious. Of course I can, JC. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-866. No guy's ever going to get this good loving until they do what I want them to do. Oh, so you're a controlling bitch. The Tom Likas Show. From San Diego, it's the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. And still combing through the photos you girls are sending in, all you nines and tens out there. Those of you who want to come in the back door, the Canes tomorrow for our big listener party here in San Diego with our friends here at 1037 Free FM. And uh, by the way, girls, if you want to send that photo and your cell phone number in, uh, Gary will be getting back to all of you. Uh, just send it to Tom at blowmeuptom.com. It's Tom at blowmeuptom.com. Get there early for the event tomorrow, by the way. The doors open about 2 o'clock. And the uh, show begins at 3 San Diego time. So be there, be square. We're talking about this, uh, well, it was sent in by a listener named Kevin, this article about women um, reading uh, and writing to Cosmo, and uh, they are learning how to be liars and, according to Kevin, bitches. What do you think about this? 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Here's Jeff on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Father. Hey. Son, <laughs> what's going on? I'm doing a little radio show here. Hey, I got a funny story for you. Okay. All right. Um, there's this one time I took this girl out and everything. She was on her cell phone the whole time, you know, texting, calling, stuff like that. So I know I know your rule about that. So I took matters into my own hands and lied to her and said I had no money. So she paid it. She paid for everything. She paid for the movies. Uh, in and out in Starbucks all one night. It totaled up to like fifty bucks. And, Love and, it. Uh, then I then I just left her in the dust right after. So that's pretty much all I got, you know. And I I'm no I'm no idiot. So and, yeah. No, not anyone who texts during a date. Are you either leave or not? I like what you did. Get her to pay for everything. If you could do that, that's fantastic. Hey, um, can I ask you one more thing? Uh, can you blow me up, sir? Well, of course I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, here comes Jacqueline on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> As well, okay, you should so, be here. <laughs> so I totally give props to that Kevin guy, yeah, for sending that in, and definitely props for you for reading that out. He was like, I used to hang with the girls that read Cosmo, like, on a regular basis. And, like, I couldn't stand, like, when we would go to the clubs and stuff like that, like, I'd, I'd always make sure, like, I'd have money on me. Like, most of the time I got, you know, guys offering to buy drinks, and I'd always be like, oh, yeah, that's cool. But I made sure to have the cash on me because it's not cool to go somewhere and just expect it to be paid for. That's like expecting to be VIP at some Hollywood event, you know? It's a regular, average, everyday chick. Like, who gives are you know? Right. I mean, I mean, yeah, it's fun to be treated. Like dear, 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 we are on the air, and uh, there's words you can't use on the air, and I know you know which one I'm talking about. <laughs> the S word. <laughs> yeah, well, you knew that, so why were you using it? I don't know. It happens. 
No, it it doesn't happen. Not on this show, I, it doesn't. I'm sorry. Yeah. Anyway. Well, thank you for that, darling. Uh, it's Andrea. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Just wonderful. Okay, so I'm calling in um, because I completely agree with what you're saying about women. I work with about 99.9% .9 of women um, and in my office, and they're all telling me that I'm dumb because I pay my own way. Um, I live with my boyfriend. We split every single bill down the middle. I pay my own groceries. He pays his. We split the rent. We split everything. And they tell me I'm stupid and that I should find a man that's going to pay my bills. And I tell them, no, I'm not stupid. I have a job. I have my own money. I like to pay my way. That's just the way I've always been. And I just, it irritates me when women say that because not every single woman is like that. The majority are, but it gives women like me a bad name. Women well, who, that's that's know, right, because wanna... most women are like your friends. So they're not like exactly. you. Exactly. Exactly. And I get, you know, belittled because I think that that's completely ridiculous. So I just wanted to call and say I completely agree with what you're saying. Well, Andrea, thank you for that. Thank you. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Here comes Daniel on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Uh, what's up, Tom? Let's do a little radio uh, show here. Hello? Hello? Don't, don't. don't. I, I don't have the patience for it uh, on this particular program. Okay, there he goes. Uh, Katie. On the top, like his show. Hello. Hi. Hi, Dad. Hi. Yes. Um, I was just calling. Um, I'm on break right now at work, actually. And um, I completely agree with you, 100%. And um, I think the stuff that Cosmo puts in is just a bunch of crap. And um, women should be reading more interesting things to better their lives with. Rather than to lie to their men. Well, guess what? Cosmo has lots and lots and lots of readers. Lots of them. Yeah, that is true. But I think most of the stuff they put in, it, I wouldn't agree with them. First of all, you shouldn't lie to your man. And they put a lot oh, of that's, stuff. That's like, the basis of Cosmo. Yeah, I don't read that crap. What you need to do is manipulate your man to get him to buy you jewelry and take you to dinner and buy you drinks and then ultimately to buy you an engagement ring and then uh, manipulate him into marrying you. Yeah, exactly. I don't think that's right. I think that, I mean, you should be with your man. You shouldn't get them to buy you these things. And I think it's just stupid, you know. Buy, go to school, get a job, and buy yourself that, your own stuff, and you can get a, just a well-respected man just way better than that you, you know can't make much of a, you can't make much of a magazine out of that yeah that is true plus i think like a lot of ugly girls read that thinking oh if i can be like this oh i can make please a man and try and pull yeah what cosmo to forgets to tell you is you're gonna have to be hot to get away with this stuff yeah and that's like i don't know i'm 20 years old i can get plenty of men without reading any of that stuff Really? And yeah, I'm 20 years old. I started listening to this because um, my ex boyfriend loves your show. And um, I was wanting to get on the air. Hopefully, he's listening right now. But I agree with a lot of stuff you say. And that's what I wanted to get on the air for. I thought that Cosmo, a lot of the stuff that they put on the covers, you know, oh, try and get tricks to. Win, win this man over in bed, and it's like, come on. I just don't agree with a lot of the stuff. No, but, I you, agree. but you are right. You are right about that. Like, they have millions of readers, you know. That's right. But, and these yeah. are the women that guys are dating out there. That's what we're always talking about. Thank you for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Our next listener is listening to us online over the Internet. He's calling from Harlem. Jason on the Tom Likas show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? Doing okay, Jason. All right, sounds good. You know, I was actually curious when you started mentioning Cosmo. And, well, the reason I was thinking this was because why don't they come up with a magazine like this for men where they teach men how to do these things to get what they want from women? 
Well, that's why we need the Tom Likas Show. I'll teach you how to lie to women and manipulate them and uh, get them to do what uh, you want them to do by pretending to be a lawyer or a doctor or some kind of a heavy hitter. Exactly. I mean, it's it's crazy. Like, I, you were just talking about, like, some of these articles, and I'm like, is he serious? Like, that's insane. Yes, that's what's in Cosmo. Oh, man. But you know what? I actually did have a question, but it's not. It's related to, like, work. Is that okay? Well, let's see what it is. Okay. Um, I actually just graduated from school, and um, I'm actually working now, but I might be going back to business school. And I guess I was I was curious as to what you would say to uh, someone who was going into business school to go into, like, maybe, like, a job in, like, the financial industry where you have these crazy work hours. I think you should do whatever you're passionate about. What's your passion? Okay. Yeah. All right. I, I was just curious about that because I know there's, there's, like, these really long hours, like 7 a.m. to, like, sometimes as late as maybe 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. But, I mean, I'm passionate about it. I just feel like I wouldn't have any life. Well, then uh, you might want to have some alternatives or consider some anyway. But uh, if I were you, that's what I would do. Thank you for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Leo on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you doing out there? Great. Hey, real quickly, first, congratulations on raising the mental bar above the low end of the teeter-daughter for uh, talk radio. Enjoy the program. Thank but, you. But uh, regarding the uh, topic tonight, um, actually, I have a perfect response to that. A girl asks for a drink. I just say, I will not buy you one, but I will trade you for a lap dance. <laughs> if it's uh, just a beer, it's one dance. If it's top shelf, well, then we start negotiating from there. And believe it or not, you will have girls that reciprocate for that. They realize they're paying for attention. Well, that's what you're paying for. Oh, exactly. So, but you have to realize that's exactly what they're out there for. And uh, it's okay. It's like a playground. It's like, you know, it's, you're playing dodgeball. You know they're going to throw for your head. you got to know when to duck. And then when you catch the ball, you throw it back at them. It's a game. And uh, if you know what's going on, you can enjoy it. But, again, uh, I listen to a lot of the callers, a lot of these guys. Uh, you're doing a good service. You're a good father figure. These guys, these guys are 20, 23 years old. They just haven't lived enough life to understand this. And uh, you're doing the Lord's work. That's a good thing. Yes, yes, I was sent here by the Lord, as you know. Jeffrey on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Yes, thank you for taking my call, sir. How are you? Great. I just wanted to call in and let you know these women for the past 20 minutes, and I think that they are all full of crap and that they do exactly what Cosmo says. They may work, but that's so they have more money in their pocket after they take mine. Right. Exactly. Oh, believe me, most women nowadays do work. They do have their own money. But they don't want to spend any of it. Exactly. Not on you, they don't, or not even when they're with you. Exactly. And I just got out of a relationship where this girl, she broke up with me. I left from Chicago, and she sleeps with three people and now came out here to beg for me back due to probably my financial situation. Of course. Job security. Did you tell but, her to uh, get lost? What's that? Did you tell her to get lost? I, I told her to go straight home. She stayed with a friend the whole time she was out here. She didn't get a penny from me. She didn't get a thing from me. <laughs> but I, I want to thank it. you for having your show. I appreciate it. It is a joy to listen to you stuck on the 405. Why, thank you. Appreciate that. Let's say hi to Jessica on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. Um, I'm 20 years old. I'm from Orange, California. And I just wanted to say I love your show. Um, I just want to call and comment on the Cosmo issue that you're talking about. I agree with you about how women manipulate, but if men are stupid enough to fall for it, they deserve it. Well, I think anyone who's stupid enough to fall for anything deserves it, including a woman. If I tell her my name is Dr. Lycus and she has sex with me as a result of that, she got exactly what she deserved. Exactly, but you know what? If, you know, you got to stand up for yourself, and if you're, you know, that means not easy to be manipulative, then I'm sorry. You know, if these men, they can't call and be like, oh, these women manip manipulate me to well, marry Well, these them manipulations are exactly what I lecture men against. This is what I tell guys exactly. not to do. Not don't that. buy totally anything for women. Yourself. Don't spend money on women. Don't give them gifts. Don't compliment them. You know, do, do not be uh, giving up your upper hand. That's what I try to tell the boys, and I hope this article from Cosmo uh, illustrated it. Our email address, Tom at... Blow me up, Tom.com. The Tom Likas Show.